Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to integrate Salesforce with the Dream Studio API. The Dream Studio by Stability.ai is a generative AI platform that is used for image generation using the using some text, using some pre-existing images, and uh, uh, from the prompts we we provide to the platform. So uh, we are going to use their REST specification. Their REST specification has three uh, URIs. That is for user getting the user ID, getting the available engines available to generate the images and third is the uh, generation API. So in the generation API, we are going to use the text to image. So we are going to provide some text or prompts and based on that, we'll get a output from that API uh, that that would be encoded in the base 64 format. So and then we'll, we are going to show it in the Salesforce org. So let's start. First step is to create an account on the dreamstudio.ai uh, forward slash account. Uh, here, uh, after creating the account, you will get some credits. So these are the free credit credits you will get. After post using that, you can purchase some credits. And uh, we, are, we will need the API keys. So we'll use this API key when we make uh, the rest fallout from our Salesforce org. So we need that as well. So let me show you what uh, how the Dream Studio looks like. So here is some default prompt, so uh, which we are going to use, and we can upload our existing images uh, to let the AI make changes, make use of that. Uh, then we are going to set the image count. So currently we have set two count, and if I click on advance, I would be able to set the width, height, uh, generative steps, and all that stuff. So I'll click on re. So I have. Uh, uh, wrote this prompt that I want the pictures of Earth in 2050, so it has generated four images for me. So these four images uh, is generated using the generative AI model that is running in the backend of the Dream Studio. So similar to that, we are going to uh, call this API and uh, input some text and then click on generate image, then we'll get the image. So, uh, so let's dive through the code now. I'll open the VS code. Uh, so firstly, we have uh, an LWC component and then we are getting the callout data from the Apex class. So let's go through the LWC component first. So we have an input box uh, where the user will input the prompt, then they'll click on the generate image button and uh, post that will get the image source from the Apex class and this image source, uh, this LWC statement will become true and we'll be able to see the image. So here uh, we are importing the Apex class and we are uh, making the callout imperatively from we, we are making a call to the Apex class imperatively and then we are uh, just updating some values. So let's go to the Apex class. In the Apex class, we are calling this get image generated method from the JavaScript and we are making a REST API callout the post request uh, to this endpoint api.stability.ai so you need to add this uh, host name to your remote site settings to be able to do so in Salesforce. Then we are providing in the authorization uh, the to be able to authenticate and this key we are getting in from the from our Dreamhouse account and the content type the accept header. Uh, so we are uh, then generating in the body the body which we are going to send to this API. This body method we I have written and within that we will have a map of text prompts and within that map uh, we will input our text and the weight so we will create a map and we will uh, put those values and then we will add those values to a list uh, of text prompts so uh, there can be multiple text prompts but i'll i'm on, only going to send one here uh, once we have the request ready we are going to send uh, the request and then uh, We'll get the response. Uh, we are going to deserialize the response, and then we are going to get the base 64 encoding for the image, and uh, we are going to add that to the image source variable which we created at the top, and then we are going to going to send it back to the JavaScript and where it would be shown as an image. So this template would become true, and we will be able to see the image. So let's see now. I'm going to type in Mars generate image it is going to take some time and it has generated some image uh, a weird one yep so uh, 
that's all for today's session and uh, post generation do watch out for your accounts uh, because for every image you generate the credits are deducted so uh, do watch out for that and hope you like this video do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone for watching